Good morning. It's Shane with Excessive Performance TV, and we are on the road today, midweek, at the crack of dawn, when it's freezing cold, to head to Fort Wayne, to get to Sweetwater, to pick up our Adam Jones Epiphone Les Paul. They come out today, as you will probably see in multiple outlets. Alright, so the other day, I made mention that we are going to start a Adam Jones section of the page. Um, we've got access to several of the Adam Jones guitars. Um, we actually have a full amp rig, everything he uses on stage, um, as well as an actual 1979. Um, but today, more uh, most relevant is going to be the release of the Epiphone. Uh, that guitar has been teased by Adam himself. We have seen uh, Gibson executives playing it on Instagram. Uh, we saw, saw a few leaked photos, but no information has really been given concrete. Um, uh, but today you will probably find that on your Epiphone feeds and Gibson feeds. But today you're going to find that uh, they are going to be releasing all the information on the Epiphone, at least the first one, uh, the first art guitar with the bees, uh, the, I think it's called the, the Vell of Bees. Um, that's the one we're actually going to pick up right now. Um, there's going to be 800 of those. There is going to be eight total guitars. One is just going to be the standard uh, Silverburst and then seven different art guitars. Um, each one of those are going to be limited to 800 pieces, so um, it should be interesting to see uh, how that's going to play out. I don't know if they're going to do, I don't think they're releasing all of them at once, um, so I don't know if they're going to do one a month, one every six months. I don't know, I guess we'll have to see because I haven't actually seen the, the press release information. Um, I just got enough heads up in order to be able to be put on the list to get one. The, when they come out today. So so that's where we're headed. We're headed to Sweetwater. Ironically enough, that is who um, had the first round of Adam Jones. They had a semi uh, get broken into and a pallet of them stolen. That first round of Adam Jones guitars are the ones that went crazy through the roof. They actually kind of started the uh, what we now see as $50,000 guitars. Um, they started the $10,000 guitars and they saw that people were willing to buy them and then even on the aftermarket how much people were willing to pay for those guitars that the, uh, originally were priced at $10,000. So, um, so curious to see what happens with these Epiphones. Um, these are really cool artwork on the back of them. Um, I know they've released like three or four different um, Gibson versions at this point. Um, so we knew the Epiphone was coming but it is finally here. So that's where we're going to go. So let's go to Sweetwater and check that out and get this guitar picked up. Turn right, then your destination will be on the Pretty much have every type of guitar, every brand every style everything you could even want to play and some stuff you've never even heard of yeah. when i say they have everything i mean they have everything every amp acoustic electric every different kind of guitar gibson epiphone kramer ESP, Schecter, Ibanez, just everything. It goes on and on and on and on and on. Let me go down. The Matt Hafey. Then we got our Fenders, Gretches, Dan Electros. EVHs. Did you say you wanted a pedal? Wall volume. Now comes the player's division. So rather than being the peak body, it's the thinner body. And distortion, wall, basically every pedal you could ever want to try out. 
you know, it's, it doesn't mean it's a bad return. And of course, it's not just guitar, it's bass, drums. This is a full music store. And the drum room. Sticks and mallets and pedals and drum heads and cymbals. It just goes on and on. Electric drums, acoustic drums. All kinds of different finishes and stuff. I do the first one in line. Yeah. Everything they do is great. Yes. I would love the Yamaha power. All right, so I typically don't do unboxing videos on my channel, but I find that this one is going to be pretty interesting because of what is inside. We have something that we haven't seen in a very long time. Let's check it out. And as you can see in that box, we have an Epiphone chainsaw case. We haven't seen Epiphone chainsaw cases since the 80s. They have reissued the Gibson version, but now we have an Epiphone version as well. Let's take a look inside. All right, guys. So inside that Epiphone chainsaw case, the Adam Jones Epiphone art guitar. Gotta say that is looking pretty sweet. Compared to your normal Epiphone Silver Burst, we have a teardrop. It's an antique color, so it's not just silver. And as you'll see in a minute, it's got some other tricks in the bag. Not only is it antique silver burst, but we have it bursted on the neck, the headstock, the sides, and will you get a look at that? These are the art guitars. This is the first of what I believe is going to be seven. Again, this is the first. Here's the plaque commemorating that. This is the Veil of Bees by Mark Ryden. And I think he has at least one more coming out in the series. And then there's some other artists featured in there as well. And here's the artwork on the headstock. We have the 70s volute. It actually has a maple neck. So they went a long way in making this like Adam Jones's in the Epiphone version. All right, so let's take a look at the inside of the case. We've got black, we'll call it fur, with styrofoam. We've got our Sweetwater checklist. We have, well, it'd be nice if, you know, they keep those on there. I had a broken one last week come through. Your typical Epiphone hang tags, just case information, case key. <laughs> That's your midweek update, I promised you. Stay tuned. This weekend, we will have a full review and demo of this guitar. Till then, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell. That way, when we post a new video, you are the first one to see it. You guys have a good week, and we'll see you soon.